Ellering's Kiza Emergency Reserve Power Plant. From need and concept to today's reality. Completed in 2014, 25 kilometers from Estonia's capital, Tallinn. No modern society can function without electrical power, reliable power, power for business and industry, for transport, for homes, for a nation on the go. Reliable, stable supplies that are available day in, day out, around the clock. And no nation in Europe today is isolated from the rest. Integration in Europe also means growing interconnection of electrical power grids and a commitment to effective operations. Joining the EU in 2004 resulted in a number of changes in Estonia's electricity sector, and the process of change continues, including additions to generating capacity. At the same time, measures that improve the electricity transmission system, help to balance supply and demand, and increase grid stability, remain high on the agenda. Two large oil shale power plants represent more than 90% of the country's total generating capacity of approximately 2,000 megawatts. And the amount of electricity generated by wind power resources is ever increasing. Up until now, to balance the grid, electricity from hydropower resources in Latvia were occasionally purchased, but at a relatively high cost, and with the risk that the cost of reserve power from there could rise. The importance of a robust and efficient electricity network has long been recognized in Estonia. Work on upgrading the national grid system began at the end of the 1990s and the 350 megawatt high voltage direct current S-Link 1 submarine cable between Estonia and Finland was completed in 2006. The second interconnection cable, 650 megawatt S-Link 2, was commissioned in February 2014. S-Link 1 marked the first interconnection between the Baltic and Nordic electricity markets with the aim of integrating and securing power supply. Completed in 2014, S-Link 2 became part of the supergrid connecting the Nordic regions via the Baltic countries with Central Europe. With the completion of the Giza Emergency Reserve Power Plant, the S-Link 2 interconnection between Estonia and Finland will be able to operate at full capacity. As a high-voltage grid owner, Ellering's responsibility is security of supply. This consists of two different parts. One is the grid itself, the other part is balance. And uh, the balance question, uh, the supply and demand side, it has to be taken care of in real time. And it turns out so that uh, the energy market itself doesn't guarantee this real-time uh, availability of power. Uh, and this is one thing uh, why uh, grid owners or transmission system operators such as Ellering have been given responsibility to guarantee this short uh, and very fast available power uh, for power system emergency needs. Vertila has had a presence in Estonia since 2005, providing sales and service throughout the Baltic region. In June of 2011, Ellering ordered this unique fast-start emergency reserve power plant to meet sudden and unexpected drops in supply. The combined output of the two blocks will be 250 megawatts, with the first plant taken over by Ellering at the end of 2013, and the second unit due to be operational by autumn 2014. These two completely independent power plants are based on Bertzila's 34 dual-fuel engines, which will operate primarily on natural gas, but with the option to switch to light fuel oil as a backup. These dynamic grid stability plants will operate on average for 200 hours per year. 
Estonia's grid code requirements state that plants connected to the grid have to be capable of withstanding a fault ride-through, that is a period of lower grid voltage, of 250 milliseconds. This means a plant has to be able to withstand the disturbance of this duration without disconnecting from the grid. Ellering carefully assessed the advantages of operational and fuel flexibility as well as life cycle costs and awarded the project contract to Bertsila. The Bertsila solution has a number of benefits over an open gas cycle turbine option. The electrical efficiency is higher, it starts up and takes load much quicker. And most importantly, for an emergency reserve power plant, it offers much greater security of supply. With each engine able to produce about 10 megawatts, failure of one of the multiple generating units will only slightly affect the combined output capacity. A single gas turbine plant faced with the same situation would lose all of its potential output. Ellering's performance requirement was that if and when needed, backup emergency power must be available in no more than 15 minutes. That requirement was met and more. The solution available from Bertsila for the Kisa plant can replace capacity lost from the grid in only 10 minutes. This uh, set of technical requirements, which was the basis on selecting the suitable beat, uh, was quite uh, technically challenging for everybody. And I guess one of Wärtsilas' uh, strengths was that they were able to uh, compose from uh, such small units the best possible uh, set of uh, uh, things that would uh, guarantee our power needs. That is exactly we had this minimum power that we needed and Wärtsilä was very flexible in that sense to guarantee the existing set of generators. And we, we had quite hard uh, requirement on availability of uh, future generators. So in that sense also Virgil had uh, several possibilities how to handle this uh, risk for availability. Virgil technology is known for its uh, features like energy efficiency, fuel flexibility, and operational flexibility. These features turn into values and benefits for our customers. The main benefits, for example, from fuel flexibility is that you can use two fuels in one power plant. When we are talking about emergency power plant, having the capability to use different fuels gives you more security. Operational flexibility, on the other hand, means that you can quickly start and stop whenever and uh, uh, however you want to operate the plant. And uh, this means basically that the operator who is deciding when it is absolutely necessary to start, and, uh, start this power plant, they can choose that moment and instantly this power plant is operational and it brings the security, the added power to the system. Ellering wanted to have its new plant completed and ready for operation at the same time as S-Link 2. Under the 129 million euro turnkey engineering, procurement and construction contract, Bertsila is supplying all the power plant equipment, including high voltage connections to the grid and carrying out construction and commissioning. The contract for both the, for the whole project was signed in June 2011 and we immediately started working with our design for the environmental permit and the building permits. We got the building permit in December 2011 and immediately started with the civil works. We had to do the piling because the water level is quite high in the, at the site area. Uh, the piling work took almost three months. Uh, once the piling was completed, we started with the building and other uh, foundations starting from March 2012. In summers, we were in that position that we could also start the mechanical and electrical installations for phase one. We got the gensets also at site in October, September, October 2012, and uh, we completed our installations by end of 2012. The contract includes a two-year maintenance agreement with the option of a 10-year extension. Vatatsila provides the generator sets and mechanical components 
All the electrical equipment, including step-up transformers and grid connections, and plant automation, as well as all the civil engineering works on site. With this solution now, the reserve plant can reach full output within 10 minutes. It can run on natural gas or light fuel oil. The plant is completely automatic. It doesn't need any permanent personnel on site. The storage tanks at the plant can hold enough light fuel oil to run at least 120 hours. In addition, the plant, by definition, is connected to the natural gas grid. The new plant produces one-sixth of the maximum consumption of Estonia. This is enough to cover the winter energy needs of most of the Tallinn area in an emergency. What it means is additional security with lower costs for Ellering's customers. This power plant will be used as a black start unit that in case the whole Estonian electricity grid goes down and there is a blackout situation, this power plant will come up and will start to re-energize the grid and start the other power plants to restore the electricity in the whole country. The Kisa plants also represent another step forward towards the future in terms of technical innovation. The plants include a number of new top-notch technical solutions. Since the plants are estimated to be running for only a couple of hundred hours per year, the standby energy consumption must be low. Normally, keeping a power plant on standby eats up a lot of energy. But now the latest innovations at Kiza allow energy consumption to be minimized dramatically, while still the plant is ready to go around the clock, day in, day out. Some of these patent-pending solutions developed during the Kiza project design phase have already been implemented as standard for other power plants. One of the distinct uh, uh, elements in the Ellering project is that it's a complete turnkey project by Wärtsilä. So we are building, designing and delivering the entire unit. There's a major benefit and value for the, for the customer because they don't need to have extensive project organizations to run it. They have a one-stop shop, which is guaranteeing the delivery time and uh, guaranteeing that the solution will work exactly the way how they want it. Uh, it gives also Wärtsilä possibility to show our way of doing construction in a most sustainable way. With its new Kiza Emergency Reserve Power Plant from Wärtsilä, first of its kind in Europe for this application, Ellering has leaped forward in its capacity to provide a balanced, reliable power supply to the people in Estonia, with greater efficiency, and most importantly, at the lowest costs. <laughs>